We're here at Wentworth to play a round of golf, but most importantly discuss mental health issues in professional sport and hopefully provide some insight for today's players. Early on in my career was all rugby. You, like I was, you, you train, 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 rugby. Uh, like your emotional and mental well-being was almost solely on how you, well you played on the weekend. I need to play well to, to be happy. Bad day, all these things play on your mind terribly when, when, I don't know, when you focus on you just as a rugby player. And then as soon as you go somewhere where they say, actually, what is your goal outside of rugby? That took a lot of pressure off. Like when you start a career, Literally I'm playing right. something that I just love doing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I've got a family, I've got kids, I've yeah. got a mortgage, yeah. I've got responsibilities. Yeah. Mm. You start thinking about consequences yeah. or I'm the failure of yeah. failure, yeah, of not getting a contract. The amount of time that were wasted that you could have been busy doing, you know, learning being another creative. trade, yeah. being creative. Yeah. Training finishes at like 12 o'clock. Probably one of my biggest regrets. Where Saracen's got it right. They almost try to take that pressure away from you as an individual by saying, actually, as, as, as a, an entity, you are only like 30% a rugby player. The rest of you is far more, right? You're a family man, you're, 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 a, you're a son, you're um, a husband, you you're also have outside interests. You, ha you, you have your hobbies, you also have a career that we're going to build towards post-rugby. So it was, it, was, it was trying to take the pressure away from you. PSA are brilliant now in, yeah. in picking up on the stuff like at Saracens on mm. personal welfare. You don't see yourself retiring. Yeah, you, don't you don't see yourself, yourself retiring. You don't see yourself, you think you can play forever. You think you're like Peter Pan. Like you, yeah, yeah. you know, that, that day will not come, but it does come, doesn't it? And when it does come, boom, you, you, you're, back, you're, you're 16 again. We have the same sort of su support network that Jets, it's Jockey's Education and Training Scheme. They, they will support you through anything and, and, and they will you know, financially help you as well. The only problem is, is finding that one thing to do. My fear now is for the young footballers, they don't see the, the ending. They because no matter how much money you got, you can have so much spare time and spare time and time alone, it doesn't do, it tick, tick, tick. So I think there needs to be something in place where it is with the PFA where they, they help these young lads do a degree. I put all my eggs into one basket to get fit, but if I were to just spread them out thinly, then I might, it might not have taken me so long to get to where I am today. And the way it ended for me, really, I, trying to get back fit and then breaking down and then training with, trying to train with the first team and not being able to do what you used to be able to do because of the injury. And then the lads going on trips and him taking young players and you all got left behind. That was probably the toughest part. Got invited back to Fulham and you see your picture on the wall and you think, actually, I did do some good. Mm. It's not all bad. I had a bad head injury. It took me a hell of a long time to come back. I rode again, but I, I wasn't right for about three, three years. And um, I, I didn't really talk to anyone. There, there, is, there was always someone that I could have talked, spoke, spoke to, but I, I was quite, I bottled things up and I never speak to people as much as I should have done. Yeah. And I think it's sort of probably towards the end of my career it had a detriment to me, you know. It was definitely I was bottling things up and I wouldn't speak to anyone and I I got, you know, sick of it. In hindsight I would have I would have definitely gone and spot spoke to someone because there is always someone out there to speak to and the PGA <clears throat> are fantastic. They've they, they really embraced it in the last sort of five, six years. Uh, you know, well, every, everything, every, every sort of um, sp sporting body is, is realising the mental health aspect of, of, of it and listening to you with your, with your coming back from your injury and the, the psychological effect that, that maybe the manager not, not talking to you. I, I was just angry, angry, like, embarrassed. Like, it was a load of emotions going on. I think when you are younger, it, everything just comes so much easier to you, doesn't it? And then it's only when you sort of get that bit older and you're looking around, and you're thinking, hmm, actually. And I suppose that's when, <laughs> that's when this starts going, going over much. time, yeah, thinking too much. The worst thing you can do, I think, as a professional is not speak out, is keep all your emotions and all your problems inside because there's so many ways that, that it will find its way out. So you, you can still, there's still other people you can speak to, like PFA, when I've done it in the past, it always comes out in me just being angry. The mind does play tricks with you as well, because when I was injured and going through it all, I'd look to myself and i think, 
hold on, but I'm earning, I'm earning good money here. Should I be feeling like this? And I'm thinking, hold on a minute, am I being a bit selfish here? Is this something to do with me? That's why you don't really speak out, because you think people are going to look at me. Or, What's he moaning about? RPA were very good with myself. Just the ability to talk to somebody and, and just say, look, I, I am actually struggling with um, where I am in my life right now. The feeling that I had to control everything and it was weighing on my relationship. And it was only because I felt this weight of expectation or responsibility on leaving uh, rugby and finding a job and then being successful in it. I just wasn't the same person anymore. I was, um, I was trying to control every single thing in my life. It's a male bravado thing, isn't it? Yeah. You have to be seen as tough and that, that person that, and keep on going relentlessly and relentlessly. You see changing behaviours and that, that's a highlight, is actually being aware in the environment of how to help your mates out if you do see that. Yeah. Whether that's through playing rounds of golf and all of a sudden Johnny's got a bit quieter over there. And sometimes he may not even ex shout out to you, it, it, it may need that external thing which, and, and that for me is a big thing with, with, with sports people these days and is, is to have that network around where you, you can openly talk yeah. in that work environment. You're not weak if, if you say you're depressed, you're not weak if you say you're upset or you're down or you've got no motivation or you're struggling. I think that that, that should be the strength. As soon as, you, as soon as you said it, then I think you, you won't realise how many people actually do care for you, how much people do support you. Uh, in regards to your field of work, in regards to your family. As soon as you actually come out and speak about it, I think your life can only go in one direction. Sometimes asking for help is harder than ignoring it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And going and actually asking for help, because that's seen as a weakness, mm, potentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to me, I'll flip that massively and say that's a sign of strength. If, if someone comes and approaches yeah. you, that's a sign of strength, not weakness. 100%. It's so easy to just ignore it. How many people do ignore it? And then obviously it can go in a... I think you can, think you can deal with it. Yeah, for sure. Think yeah. you can deal with it. The, five, the five inches between, you, between yeah. your ears, that's where, that's where it all sort of... Well, we saw that on the golf course at times today, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> as well. Don't cook, thank you. <laughs> I thought I played all right, to be honest. I thought I played yeah. all right. Hasn't played in six yeah, weeks. Yeah, hasn't played in six, six weeks. Six weeks. <laughs> it goes to the range every other day. Yeah.